And now, it's time for our daily devotion, daily, daily, daily abiding in Jesus Christ. In the book of John chapter 15 verse 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. So we invite you to spend a little moment as we bring you today's daily abiding in Jesus Christ, a daily devotional ministry project of Christo Dogino Baga from passages taken from the Holy Scriptures with quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy by Ellen G. White. Daily, daily, daily abiding in Jesus Christ. May 18, 2020 Daniel 1 verses 19 and 20 Verse 19 And the king communed with them, and among them all was found none like Daniel, Hananiah, Missal, and Azariah, therefore stood they before the king. 20 And in all matters of wisdom and understanding, that the king inquired of them, he found them ten times better than all the magicians and astrologers that were in all his realm. Quotation from the Spirit of Prophecy True success in any line of work is not the result of chance or accident or destiny. It is the outworking of God's providences, the reward of faith and discretion, of virtue and perseverance. Fine mental qualities and a high moral tone are not the result of accident. God gives opportunities, success depends upon the use made of them. While God was working in Daniel and his companions to will and to do of his good pleasure, they were working out their own salvation. Philippians 2 verse 13 Herein is revealed the outworking of the divine principle of cooperation, without which no true success can be attained. Human effort avails nothing without divine power. And without human endeavor, divine effort is with many of no avail. To make God's grace our own, we must act our part. His grace is given to work in us to will and to do, but never as a substitute for our effort. As the Lord cooperated with Daniel and his fellows, so he will cooperate with all who strive to do his will. And by the impartation of his spirit he will strengthen every true purpose, every noble resolution. Those who walk in the path of obedience will encounter many hindrances. Strong, subtle influences may bind them to the world. But the Lord is able to render futile every agency that works for the defeat of his chosen ones, in his strength they may overcome every temptation, conquer every difficulty. By Ellen G. White, Prophets and Kings, pages 486 to 487.